hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're returning thank you so much for the love i love you all right back now in this week's video i want us to talk about uh the entry grade requirements in order to do a nursing either certificate or diploma in chemtc yeah so stay tuned after the last minute so this video was supposed to go up on Wednesday but I did not manage to post it on Wednesday leave alone posting creating so uh, I'll still I'll still I'll try hard have two videos next week so yeah please my apologies what is nursing nursing is a profession <laughs> like someone can be a doctor a lawyer uh another person can be an engineer so nursing is a profession a profession that uh, entails taking care of patients uh, your community sick people um just giving care to these uh, vulnerable people and giving a safe environment that can enhance the the healing process so i have been through nursing school and that's how i can give my definition to be honest yeah and who is a nurse <laughs> who is a nurse a nurse is someone who has completely trained <laughs> has gone through the nursing program in a certified school that is known uh, finished training and now um, has a license to practice now as a nurse so basically a nurse is just someone who has gone through that uh, training now if i divert a little uh, kusups has opened its application portal uh for kmtc nowadays uh people apply through kusups and not kmtc though i still feel there are some courses that you can apply through portal like the nclex one I'm not so sure but I'll just do research then tell you uh, maybe in the next video or something uh, so the portal will be down on the description box or I'll just write it on the screen so that you can be able to go and start your application process ASAP <laughs> yeah or if you know anyone who wants to become a nurse please um, you can also apply for someone you know yeah so I'll just link the links down below in the description box or i write them down here on the video so that you can be able to just apply so this video is going to be very informative please watch it till the end and if you get value please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i really really appreciate it let me start with certificates now did you know that kmtc offers certificate uh, in nursing yeah these are the kenya enrolled community health nurses if i'm not wrong you can be able to do uh, a certificate in nursing if your grades are as follows now you have to have a mid grade of c minus c minus as your mean grade you have to have a c minus in either kiswahili or english kiswahili or english okay get me not kiswahili and english or english and then uh you have to you must have a c minus in biology or biology uh biological sciences yeah so again you will need to have a d plus guys a d plus in mathematics physics or chemistry these are the grades that you will need in order to do your certificate in community health nursing now let's talk about diploma uh, kmtc offers a variety of diploma nursing diploma um courses i know most of us we just know the community health nursing which allows you to train as a nurse and help mostly in the community best uh settings and the rural facilities and um you know just in the community but i do not think it's limited to that nursing is a very broad profession also there is the kenya registered nurse the kenya registered nurse and mental uh mental health and psychiatry yeah if i'm not wrong so they also offer that 
course if you just want to be a general nurse and also be able to work in a psychiatry you know based setting you can go for that course we have the kenya registered nurse and midwifery so this one allows you to practice general nursing and still be a midwife so for you to do these courses all of them the k r n m the kenya registered community uh, the Kenyan Registered Community Health Nurse, the Kenyan Registered Nurse and Midwifery, and the Kenyan Registered Nurse Mental Health and Psychiatry. You'll need a mini grid of C plane, a C plane in either Swahili or English, and a C plane in Biology or Biological Sciences. Now, as well, you'll need uh, a C minus in either mathematics physics or chemistry yeah so those are the grades that you the entry grades for chemtc that you need uh so that you can be able to start your career as a nurse in the kenya medical training college or oh, for those who do not <laughs> understand what kmtc is it's kenya medical training college um that's where I have been. So imagine that's only the grade that you need and I feel them very fair because the only subject that is standing is biology or those biological sciences. But here if you did not get if you do not pass well in Swahili or uh, maybe you passed well in English so either can do and even now for the mathematics physics and chemistry now it's even better. like i told you guys the intake is ongoing the march 2023 2024 uh, intake is ongoing over the cusps portal you can just click the link below my description box or i'll write the link here that is on the screen for you guys so that you can be able to go and apply now nursing school is very expensive guys <laughs> nursing school is very expensive let no one lie to you that because this one is a government uh, school it's not going to be expensive it's gonna be damn expensive the school fee is eighty thousand a year so 40 for the first semester and then 40 for another semester semester is usually like march to march to august then we have uh september to now feb those are the only semesters we have so you pay 40 40 now let me simplify this for you guys I felt it. I almost gave up because the first time I started nursing school in a private school and hey, it was damn expensive, guys. Hey, that one. And it had three semesters, guys. Three. Let me tell you. Hey, and I studied there for only one semester and hey, uh -uh, I couldn't, by the way. So I was very happy when I got a letter from KMTC. So this is what you can do so that you know just to help you to pay your school fees one you can use help uh the higher education loans board it offers a scholarship called a film which you can be able to apply so that they can be able to pay for you at least one semester in a year <laughs> yeah at least one semester in a year or two because i know other people who have been paid for more for my case i used to pay one semester and then one semester help pays for me so it can be able to help you you know to do what to decrease the cost okay then uh what else uh sometimes help comes late but you know it usually gives a like a list if you applied it gives a list then it sends to the school so whenever it's time for school fees or uh, maybe you are doing readmission you can just always go check the list and your number then you go to your accounts and say you are uh, you are a help beneficiary and it you will be good to go i think it's mostly like that for most campuses and then you can also take the uh the advantage of bursaries i have never applied bursaries by the way but there are some good counties that give bursaries 
I've seen my colleagues use bursaries uh, to pay their school fees. So you can also take advantage of that. I do not know well how that usually goes because I've never used it. But you can try your county, you know. You can go if it's near, just go to those offices and just, you know, check if you can get something. They really come in handy. Again, you can just check. Uh, sometimes the county usually... Uh, usually does not usually sponsors uh people especially nursing students in kmtc for example um i wish i could bring that friend of mine here but a combine uh, eldoret hey take advantage of that those people they sponsor students through kmtc and wow just or you can be able to like you know uh, you can be able to uh, study uh, without so much stress. If you can, just just go to those offices, uh, the, the CDF or CDC. Yeah, you can just go, just ask, okay? Just ask because I'm not going to lie to you guys. It usually gets so stressful. You can imagine studying three years, then you cannot. You are not able to do your final exam because of, you know, school fee areas like i'm not kidding you guys it's that serious so you can check out those uh, county offices and see if they can be able uh, to you know sponsor uh, you for that duration you know and lastly uh, beyond zero yeah the beyond zero organization again came to see as partnered with the beyond uh, zero training program that sponsors students who want to do uh, individuals or uh, individuals who want to do the certificate in community health nursing yeah so take that advantage guys apply 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 <laughs> apply the deadline is the 26th of february so apply 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 um i'm also assuming that uh uh, because students will be reporting in March, you can just fasten, fasten your belt to apply <laughs> so that you don't miss this out. So they are sponsoring uh, those individuals who are in arid or semi-arid areas and just vulnerable and marginalized group framework. Uh, you can just go and check if you, if you like, uh, you can go and check if you belong to that category of people like, you know, orphans, uh, just take advantage of that um, you can go and check the KMTC admissions uh, portal that is admissions.kmtc.ac.ke uh, if you have an account already just log in and go to the the sponsorship that is uh, what that is and go and click follow the process and click on the um, beyond zero training program or scholarship then you can be able to just follow the instructions and then you'll be able to apply uh, yeah but that is just for this scholarship but to apply for a nursing uh, for that certificate in nursing you go at the kusub spot go and apply especially if you're a female uh, in the, uh, uh, if you're a female you are highly 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 recommended to apply for this position one thing again you will be asked to write an essay of 200 words on why you should you feel like you need that scholarship <laughs> i do not think that is pretty hard just be honest and open just write it just be open you never know you may be lucky so just go through those processes as after you have like um uh just go to admissions.kmtc.ac.ke if you have an account login if you do not have create yours and a password then just follow through those processes and submit before the 26th of february uh, uh this year so that's that <laughs> that's just some easy ways and tips that will help you guys um you know to get uh to get a nursing to get to your career because i'm not going to lie to you guys nursing school is very expensive if you can get a scholarship or someone just to help you or a hand you can be able to go also sometimes it's also just good to go to the campuses themselves so that sometimes they offer you help you know so that you can, they can be able to take you through those uh, the brochure and everything that you need to know about the course uh, like for example for the certificate it is in very uh, 
countable campuses in Kenya. So if you can be able to just go and visit the campus, you know. Nowadays, because people like apply through Kusups, they advise you to if the system becomes so hard to use, you can be able to go to that uh, campus near you, or uh, any campus that you wish to go to, and they can help you with the app application process. So, for example, um, the certificate courses is only given in Kapenguria, um, Kabarnet. Kilifi, uh, Baumet, uh, like Tok Tok, Garissa, and Musambweni, if I'm not wrong. So, in case I've left any, you can just add it on the comment section down below so that someone can get it useful. As I finish, guys, <laughs> did you get value from this video? If yes, please like the video so that it can be able to reach many people. Share with someone you feel like it may help and comment down below <laughs> most importantly subscribe if you haven't already and i'll really really appreciate it that's that i want to close off these videos in case you're there and you know any missing information that I have not shared you can always leave it down below in the comment section the links will be on my description box or uh, i'll be able to write them on the screen by the way this video is not sponsored i am just giving you information that i feel will be helpful to you in case you want to study nursing in kmtc yeah so that's that <laughs> allow me to close off this video at this thank you so much thank you so much for always keeping up with my content i really really appreciate it. yeah i think i'm gonna close this video off right now so that i can see you in the next video next week i promise you guys so this video will go up on sunday then next week i'm gonna give you another video on wednesday and then we go back to sundays yeah so that's that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. My name is Sharon Aruka and see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.